Hello, my darlings. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and this is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. Um, I have other channels, Virgo, Leo, all that good stuff, uh, in the description box below. You can check it out. Uh, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals, okay? Um, so just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below and um, winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page I do not take personal readings my loves so any phone numbers that you see in the comment section or if anyone hits you up on any social media platform it's not me you can visit Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot if you'd like a reading she is a reader that I could recommend her information is below um what else do I want to tell you guys uh readings can be vice versa and all that good stuff I'm not sure if that really applies in this particular case so we're going to be doing the person on your mind but I'm going to split it into three different readings okay we're going to be doing um new person we're going to be doing an x and we're going to be doing currently dating okay so that kind of narrows it down for you guys let me know in the comments if you like it better that way so it's a little test run of of all three situations and then we will do um uh, cancer and all 12 signs at the end okay so let's go ahead and get started for the person on your mind um we'll start with the x okay we're gonna start this is gonna be a person that you are not speaking to at the moment um if you're wondering if they're still thinking of you or what is going on in their life okay so let's see what we have here spirit tell me about the person on cancer's mind tell me about this ex person on cancer's mind what is this person thinking and feeling towards cancer tell me about this ex oh <laughs> hold on one sec okay so cancer you're going to be getting a message from this person You're going to be getting a message from this person. I feel like this person rejected you and walked out on you. And now with that in the reverse, they're rethinking their decision, Cancer. This is someone that just walked out on you. This is someone that just walked out on you. They rejected you. Now they've got mixed emotions. They're wondering if they made the right decision, Cancer. They moved towards a rebound, Cancer, but it was a mistake. They moved towards a rebound and they're realizing that they made a really big mistake, Cancer. Yeah. They have mixed emotions about this. They they they're like, "Did I did I make the right mistake?" So I feel like they're you're going to get a message from this person. You are going to get a message from this person. <sighs> So yeah, that third party, this is going to be for my cancers that got uh, tossed to the side because this person wanted to go see if the grass was greener on the other side. We've got alcohol and we've got nostalgic. You're going to be getting quite possibly a drunken text message from this person uh, telling you how amazing and how great you are. I remember when you used to do this and I remember when you used to do that. Okay, we've got secret lover, we've got a uh, friendship, and we've got heartbroken. This is somebody that went towards somebody that they claimed was just a friend, and they got their heart broken by this person. It was a mistake. I don't know what this third party did to them, um, but it was definitely a mistake. Tell me about heartbroken. Tell me about heartbroken for this third party situation. Love triangle in the reverse and husband in the reverse. This person, uh, I feel, was expecting to commit to the third party. They left you. They didn't want it to be a third party. They left you expecting to commit to this third party. And it ended up just being lust and not love. It ended up being lust and not love. I do have to say, though, uh, Cancer, this person's plan was to marry this third party. I, I have to keep it real with you. 
Okay. I have to keep it real with you. Um, the, and you know, that your person was, uh, their intention was to actually go and have a long-term situation with this third party. And I feel like it didn't work out that way because this third party was just in it for the sex. This third party was, was not in it for something serious. Okay. What do we have here for this ex that's coming around towards cancer? Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So cancer, I feel like this separation needed to happen between you and this person so you could see that truth. That this isn't love. If your person could walk away from you so freely like that, do you see what I'm saying? To go pursue a different situation, you know, that's not the type of person you want to be with, okay? Okay. Does this person have love for cancer? What are their true feelings for cancer? King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Does this person have love for cancer? Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So Cancer, here's the thing. I mean, I feel like this person wants to commit to you, but I feel like this is someone that's always going to have their phone locked. They're not going to tell you where they are. They're going to block your phone calls. This is someone that's going to continue to be online looking for third party energies. Tell me about this King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords in the reverse. So this is someone that's going to come in and commit to you until they meet a third party that they actually want to be with. And then with that Queen of Swords, in the reverse they're going to scorn you okay they're going to scorn you so this is someone that's only going to be good towards you until they see something else that they want to go pursue as soon as they they see something that tickles their fancy you'll become garbage so that they can go see if there's something else out there we've got the emperor and the ace of pentacles with the chariot and temperance this person is in fact going to come in and tell you that they want to commit to you that they want to be your emperor that they want to be your everything that they want your forgiveness that that's all they want but but make no mistake, Cancer, this is someone that's still going to be having their eyes on other people to go play. This is not someone that's going to commit to you. If you give this person a second chance, make no mistake that they are still going to talk to third party energies. Okay, so here's the difference, Cancer. Here's the difference. I feel like that if you reconcile with this person, that they're not going to leave you. They'll stay committed to you, but they're still going to cheat. So they'll never choose someone else over you again, but they're still going to cheat. So you have to do what you want to do with that. Okay, my job is to just tell you what the energy is you know you have free will the opportunity to reconcile will be there are they coming in to commit to you yes being committed does not mean being loyal being committed means i'm never gonna leave you it doesn't mean that i'm gonna treat you right it just means i'm never gonna leave you being loyal is a whole different thing so this is someone that will never leave you again they will never choose someone else over you again um but you will feel that rejected and scorned energy because they're still actually choosing someone else over you because that's where their time and attention is going to go do you understand um okay now let's go ahead and move on to those of you who are in a relationship right now. For those of you who are currently dating someone, those of you who are living with someone, married to someone, you have kids with somebody, what, you know, what is going on with your person if you're currently in a relationship right now, okay? Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies that are currently involved with somebody. Currently involved with somebody. What does cancer need to know about this person on their mind? Okay. We've got sadness, new perspective in the reverse, and power in the reverse. So cancer, your person is sad about something. They're not, with power in the reverse, this person feels like their life is spiraling out of control for some reason. New perspective in the reverse. So let's just say this is somebody that lost their job or something happened to them. They're refusing to see things from a different perspective. Like maybe this is somebody that it's my way or the highway type of energy and they're realizing that being in a committed relationship is not like that, that they have to consider the other person's feelings and they're they're having trouble uh, 
having empathy for other people or seeing other people's point of view. We've got decision here. <coughs> what is this decision about and clarity and message sent? You guys are going to have to make a decision on how to communicate better if you're in a current relationship because there's a lack of empathy here. Um, this is someone that feels that taking another person's feelings into consideration is a lack of power that they're losing power. But in a relationship, it should not be a power struggle. It should be a teammate type of vibe, not about who holds more power. And they're having a lot of trouble understanding this. It's not clicking. You may have to make a decision to perhaps, you know, go see a therapist or something like that so that there can be more clarity here so this person can understand that there is nothing wrong with taking your partner's opinion, uh, you know, into consideration. We've got round and round and love triangle. I'm not sure that this is a third party situation. What I'm feeling is, is the people that you guys are turning to right now for advice, which could be friends or family members, it's not helping. It's just going around in circles and deflecting. I feel like you guys need more of like a professional type assistance thing. Um, now for others of you, Cancer, it could be that this person is a cheater because we've got love triangle cheating and reconciling. This could be a karmic cycle that's happening between you and this person where you guys make up and break up because this person wants to go cheat. Now, the problem here is, is that this person sees this behavior pattern as having power over the connection. And they maybe know now, Cancer, that this has to stop, that this cannot be an on and off thing anymore if they want to keep you, okay? They need to enter a new era in their life where it's either they settle down or you're out the door and this person sees it as a loss of power. So the way this person maintains power in their connections is by cheating and reconciling. This is a narcissistic or a trauma bond type of energy, okay? Now, you may feel a strong soul tie with this person. You may feel devoted to this person, okay? But with walking on eggshells and competition, you may feel like, you know, you're afraid to talk, afraid to move, afraid to do anything because this person will just blow up on you and go towards third-party energies. So if you're in a relationship like that, that is, in fact, extremely toxic. This is someone that likes to gaslight, and maybe they always want to see you jealous. They always want to see you angry, um, and this is is how this person genuinely understands the way relationships should be. Like if they keep you in a constant energy of being jealous and angry and in competition and on eggshells and on your toes, that shows them that you love them and that you're devoted to them. That is not healthy. That is not a healthy power dynamic. Do you see what I'm saying? And this person with new perspective in the reverse is having a very hard time understanding that that is not how you do relationships. This may require, this may require some, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, outside help to see clarity to get this person to understand that. Um, meet up in the reverse and husband. You cannot cheat. You cannot hurt your person in that way. If you want to be committed, you know what I'm saying? That's not the way you do relationships phone call and heartbroken. Yeah. So I, I feel like, you know, cancer, you're in this place where you may tell this person, listen, I'm sorry, it breaks my heart, but I can't do this. If you continue to treat me like this, I cannot, I cannot do this. Tell me about phone call and heartbroken and marriage with womanizer and wife to husband. Do you see what I'm saying? If you continue to do this, I can't do this anymore confession and unrequited cancer you may be telling this person i'm legit falling out of love with you i am legitimately falling out of love with you um you know if this doesn't change i am falling out of love with you okay uh and i feel like this has been an ongoing cycle for a while where you guys fight you separate this person goes off and they're with someone else and then they get tired of that person and come back and you know you're looking for for higher levels of commitment and if this person can't give that to you as much as it breaks your heart 
you know, but I don't feel like this person has a cheating addiction cancer. I feel like this person, I don't know why or whatever, but this person was taught that that is how you have power in your relationships by consistently leaving your person distraught and broken and angry and jealous. And if that person stays loyal to you while being treated that way, then they love you. That is how this person understands relationships. And it's going to require some therapy is what I'm feeling for in order for this person to realize that you know that's not okay to treat your person like that what do we have here for my cancers that are in a relationship we have rejection this rejection is actually divine protection so cancer you know when this person rejects you and to go see if the grass is greener on the other side, this is actually the divine showing you over and over and over again, this is someone that's not meant to be in your life. Do you understand? So the divine is actually hurting you on purpose to get you to wake up to see that this is someone that's not meant for you. They're actually blocking your path. You know what I'm saying? Um, for you to actually get to the person that's meant for you. So, I mean, spirit, will this connection end or will it survive? I mean, do we see this connection ending for my cancers? Yeah, the world card. Lessons learned. You gotta, you know, this will keep, you remember round and round, it's a cycle that you just keep doing and it's going to have the same ending every single time. It's the same thing over, it's Groundhog Day over and over again until you learn your lesson and get off of that roller coaster. Okay. All right. Um, moving on to my singles. Okay. This is going to be for people that uh, you know are meeting someone new or have just literally recently dated someone new or if you're crushing on somebody um, you know let's see what we have for this person tell me about the the new person on cancer's mind tell me about the new person on cancer's mind please what do we need to know about this person we've got competition and meetup Okay, well, first and foremost, Cancer, let me tell you that this person feels like you have a lot of people vying for your attention. Oh, thinking of you and husband and marriage under the deck. Cancer, this is someone that sees you as long-term marriage material and they are willing to fight for you. They are willing to fight for you, Cancer. This is someone that knows that there is competition and uh, they can't get you off their mind. They cannot get you off their mind, okay? We've got Secret Lover and Home in the Reverse. So this is somebody that currently maybe is having sex with somebody, but this is not someone, this third party has never been in your person's house. They do not think about settling down with this person. Um, With love offer here, I'm going to keep it real with you, Cancer. This person will be dating you and telling you they love you while they're continuing to have sex with this person. Um, I do feel like they feel guilt about that. Sex and guilt here. Okay, they do feel guilty about that. Um, will this third part, I mean, but this is also very new, Cancer. Please keep that in mind. This is very new. Okay, so this person is going to be courting you, calling you, giving you gifts, doing all this stuff. They do have a fuck buddy. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to keep it real with you. They do have someone that they entertain sexually. I, I don't either. This person has never been in their home or this is someone that they have zero interest. They do not see as marriage material or boyfriend or girlfriend material. Okay, we've got unworthy and seduction. I mean, I hate to say this, guys, but this is a third party that they see only as a sexual like a sex toy. They don't see this person as somebody that they're going to settle down with. They do have guilt about this, though. I mean, even though I don't feel like they need to have guilt about it because I don't, I'm not sure if your relationship is at that level yet. Um, I feel like it's still very much in the courting stages, but they, uh, they do feel guilty about it. I do see affection here. I do see a spark. This person's going to be very sweet to you. There's going to be sexual chemistry here. I feel like you guys are going to develop a very front, uh, a very strong friendship with each other first. Okay. We've got moving on and single. You and this person may both be moving on from bad situations. You can meet this person at a bar. You can meet this person while you're kayaking or by a river. Okay. 
or on the beach while you're on vacation, there is going to be a romantic dinner. And with metamorphosis and relationship, this is going to uh, turn into a very beautiful connection. A very beautiful connection. So this is something that I do see going long term cancer. Okay. Um, I kind of like the fact that this person feels a little guilty that they're still having sex with someone else, but I don't feel like they need to feel guilty because I don't feel like you guys are at that level yet, like you're not official yet, but I think it's kind of sweet that they uh, they still feel guilty about it, okay? Um, they definitely see you as marriage material, I do have to say that, okay? All right, so Spirit, tell me about this third-party energy for this new person for Cancer. Do we see that lasting, or will this third party get cut off? Will this third party get cut off? Yeah, Four of Swords and the King of Swords. That connection is going to go cold. Yeah, Knight of Cups in the reverse with the Five of Pentacles. That will fizzle out. That will fizzle out, okay? Uh, we've got the Sun card. We've got the Ace of Swords. We've got Temperance, and we have the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, Cancer, this person is so happy with you. This person sees you as a divine soulmate. Wheel of Fortune and Temperance is a divine soulmate. This person sees you as a blessing, like a straight up blessing. They may, they see your intuition. They may see you as very spiritual and they love that about you. They may like your smile a lot. We've got the Ten of Swords. We've got the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. You guys are going to be doing a lot of communicating, Cancer, about the very ugly endings that you've had in your life. Um, Cancer, this is a new love that you manifested. You guys either performed some type of magic ritual or prayed or did some type of a manifestation. You prayed for this person. But there's going to be a lot of communication here, Cancer, about the pain that you guys have had in your life seven of cups and the moon here with the full card i feel like you guys are crazy about each other someone here is falling head over heels in love they're not showing it but this is someone that dreams about you at night or daydreams about it eight of pentacles and the star card here this is someone that really wants long term with you it could be an aquarius gemini or libra cancer scorpio or pisces we've got strong leo here aries strong pisces virgo or a gemini um or an Aquarius. Okay. So yeah, I mean, this is definitely, definitely something that can go long term cancer. So this is somebody that definitely has long term intentions for you. There is someone that they are having sex with currently that person will fizzle out and in, in due time when you guys like get more serious. Um, and I definitely see that going long term. Okay. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and do cancer and all 12 signs. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs in love, please. Tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs in love, please. Aries to Pisces. Cancer and all 12 signs in love, please. Aries to Pisces. Okay. If we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the devil, we have the page of pentacles, and we have the five of wands. This is somebody that's talking to a lot of people. Okay, so uh, one of two things. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, this person is either talking to a lot of people that are in competition and, and becoming obsessed with your person, or uh, Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, this is somebody that wants to come in and apologize to you, and they are absolutely obsessed with you to the point that they would be willing to fight other people that are in the way of that, okay? So you take it as it resonates. If we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the Star card, we've got the Queen of Wands, and we've got the Page of Swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Taurus, this is someone that watches you publicly. If you post pictures on social media or something like that, this is someone that likes to watch your pictures. I'm not sure if they're telling you this just yet. It's a little bit, it's not like a, 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 a it's not like a stalker vibe, like a, like a, creepy stalker vibe no it's just you know someone's like on your facebook or something like that watching you okay if we're dealing with a gemini we've got the queen of pentacles we've got the five of pentacles and the five of cups cancer if you're dealing with a gemini this person has a lot of regrets they know they lost a real one okay that's all i'm saying they know they lost a real one if we're dealing with another cancer we've got the two of cups the eight of wands and the ace of cups oh damn so cancer if this whether this is new whether this is old this person is going to be communicating with you a lot they want a, a relationship with you okay this person's in love 
if we're dealing with a leo the wheel of fortune the knight of cups and the ace of pentacles this person is also in love this is someone that's coming in to offer you a gift they want to take you out they want to spoil you uh this person sees you as a blessing with that wheel of fortune it's like they've hit the jackpot if we're dealing with a Virgo, the Hanged Man, the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Swords, this is someone that doesn't know what to say. They're stalling when it comes down to communication. They're deflecting because with the Eight of Swords energy here, they just don't know what to say. I don't know maybe if this person did something wrong and they don't know what to say for themselves or, you know, they're just kind of stuck on stupid. They don't know what to say. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the Emperor, we've got the Lover's Card, and we've got the Nine of Wands. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, this person's an Emperor energy. They're very serious about this connection. The Lover's Card could be a very strong soul tie connection, but the Lover's Card is also Adam, Eve, and the Snake. So what I'm feeling here, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, if there's any outside entities that are talking bad about this connection or, um, you know, are going to interfere with this connection in any way with that nine of wands, those people will be blocked. Okay. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, we've got the Magician, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, and we've got the Hierophant. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this is someone that is going all in in the connection. This is someone that wants high levels of commitment and long-term stability with you. If we're dealing with a Sag, we've got the Four of Wands, we've got the Moon, and we've got the Nine of Swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Sag, there's a very high probability that this person is in another level, another higher level of commitment, and you know it. With that Nine of Swords energy, you may have a nightmare about it, or your intuition is screaming at you, but you don't want to listen. Look at you, you're literally sitting there holding your ears. Um, it's just your intuition is telling you something isn't right. Like maybe this person only uh, contacts you for communication between the hours of nine and five and nights and weekends you don't hear from them okay you know you just know something isn't right with this person if we're dealing with a Capricorn we've got the world card the knight of wands and the four of pentacles <sighs> cancer if you're dealing with a Capricorn I don't see this lasting very long because this person only worries about their wants and needs this is a very selfish and very greedy person um, I, I with the world card I feel like you're gonna learn your lessons with this person and move on especially if this person lives at a distance from you if we're dealing with an Aquarius three of wands the justice card and the ace of swords um, this is someone that's very honest and looking to treat you fairly they miss you when you guys are not together. And this person, when they look out into the future, they see you as, as a, a couple that balances each other out. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Empress, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. What the hell? So this is, you know, I don't know if you're pregnant with this Pisces Cancer. I don't know if you're married to this Pisces. And why are you walking away? The Eight of Cups and the King of Swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces, either this person's committed elsewhere and they're going to cut you off and go cold on you and walk away, or, or, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces, this is someone that's future faking. They're promising marriage and babies and all this other stuff, and then they're just going to cut you off and walk away. Okay. All right, guys. I love you all so very much, and I'll see you soon. Take care, my loves.